Hi, I'm Lou Manfredini, Ace's home expert. If you have dark wood paneling like this and you wanna lighten it up, we've got some tricks and techniques to make it look great. There's many different kinds of wood paneling, but how you prep it to paint it is pretty consistent. This is a pretty deep uh, wood paneling. It's got a nice veneer to it, and you'll see the separation here between the panels. What I like to do before we do any kind of painting is remove any kind of nails or anything that's been hanging on the individual wall there so you have a nice clean surface. Obviously, any uh, electrical trim plates you wanna take off as well just to make your life a lot easier when it comes to painting around there. Then it's a good idea to take a sanding sponge and just lightly knock down a little bit of the sheen. A lot of paneling has a sheen like this on it, and that's where I want you to use a sanding sponge to kind of knock that sheen down just a little bit so that when you knock it down and you put the primer on there, it opens up the surface of the wood so that the primer can grab on to make sure that that finished paint, when it goes on, really sticks. And remember, with any good paint job, it's always about the preparation. That's one of the most important parts. And so we're gonna put primer and paint on the paneling, but we don't wanna get it on everything else. So a little bit of painter's tape, uh, making sure that we're taping off the areas where we don't want the new paint. And this is up at the ceiling here. Now remember that uh, no matter what kind of tape you use, it doesn't want to stick to anything that's dirty or dusty. Take an old dry brush and take away the dirt and debris that might be on the floor. We don't want to paint the floor, so we're going to use that painter's tape along here because we're going to paint this baseboard along this paneling as well. All right, a little trick of the trade. We're ready to uh, start the priming. We took all the screws and nails out of the walls, and you're going to have to patch those, but because it's so dark, one of the tricks is prime it first, then you'll see all the holes, come back and use a little caulk or a little spackle to fill it all in. This is an oil-based primer. I'm using that because it really is going to help kill any of the stains or any of the bleed through that can come through that. And it's okay to use an oil-based primer, and then once that dries, a latex paint and primer over the top, which is what we're going to do. Now you go ahead and use that brush and fill in these grooves, and then we're gonna come back with a roller and roll out over the flat portions, and then come back and touch up as we need it. But the primer is critical, especially with dark colored paneling like this, so that we kill any of that bleed through on the stains, so when we get that finish paint on there, we're gonna actually have a white colored wall when we're done. It's gonna look fantastic. I mentioned that we were using an oil-based primer, so it's important to remember it needs to stay well ventilated. It's a little more odor than you may be used to. And one of the things I talked about is the fact that after you primed on paneling, you'll start to see those holes. And if you're not gonna be hanging stuff back in the same spot, now you can go ahead and take a little caulking or spackle to fill those in. And once that's all done, we're ready to put the finish paint on. So to fill the nail holes where we're not gonna actually hang things up again, I'm using my finger to apply the putty. If you use a putty knife, what happens is with paneling, you'll actually take the graining away, and when you go to roll it out, you'll see that you went and patched it. So using your finger with a little lightweight spackle or caulking, whatever you wanna use, makes the most sense. Our primer is dry. That's important before we go ahead and put the finished coat on. Now, if you come closely, you take a look at it. This is an oil-based primer, and you'll see a little bleed through from the paneling. That's okay. The primer's there to seal out that dark color. Now, just like when we applied the primer, you really have to get the finished coat and work in the nooks and crannies. We're using Clark and Kensington paint and primer in one, and now there's a good chance we'll get away with just one uh, coat on this because it's white on white. But if this was a color, you were going say a blue or a gray, whatever it might be, there's a good chance you would have to uh, put two coats on. But you wanna take your time, use that brush to kind of fill in uh, the crevices in there so you can get away with just one coat potentially. I'm always a fan of two coats because you get that depth of color. But since we're doing white, you know, the depth isn't that critical and I can just, feel it, you can't really see this, but 
This paint flows really well and it covers really well. Uh, I like using this and, and it's gonna give us a nice finish coat. So going through and getting the grooves first and coming back with the roller over the top of this, it's really gonna look nice. We're ready to start rolling now. I'm using a half inch nap roller, which is gonna give you a nice thick coating of paint. We're filling in here on the paneling and so we want something that's really gonna uh, apply enough paint there. You don't wanna use a thinner roller because it just won't get in there. Look at how nice that coverage is. As I mentioned, we're using Clark and Kensington paint and primer in one, white on white. And don't be afraid, like look at that knot right there with the roller, just go ahead and take the edge of that roller, put a little extra paint in there to fill it in and then go back over it again with the roller to even it all out. Looks great, right? Painting dark wood paneling really can lighten up and change the look of a room. It's easy to do and an inexpensive makeover. Now, if you'd like more painting tips, visit your neighborhood ACE and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more helpful advice on how to improve and maintain your home. ACE is the helpful place. ACE is the place with the helpful hardware, folks.